You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Renata and this is another episode of a Friday Sews. It has been a few weeks since I have posted one of these, but I wanted to come in here and share all that has been going on in my life, some of my sewing that I've accomplished, as well as what I am working on currently and what I will be working on next week. So if you guys are interested, please meet me in the next section where we begin to talk about everything life and sewing and all in between. Let's not forget that. Okay, friends. So it's been about four weeks, like I said, since I've been here on a Friday sews, and that has a lot to do with the fact that I hurt my back and I started to recover and then I sort of tweaked it again and I was just trying to get caught up with my so frugal and I just felt slightly pressured but I got it completed um, and that is pretty much why I've been away from the Friday so it's the videos but I'm trying to get back in that I am also focusing a lot on posting on Sundays and Wednesdays that is not always the case but that is the hope and um, just be on the lookout for videos to either pop on Sundays, Wednesdays, and then a Friday. So, so that's my goal. Okay, so regarding life, I feel like I'm 100% now. I still don't lift weights. I'm going to just chill a little bit on that. I've been just increasing my bar workout. I actually purchased a, a membership for uh, Fit by Coach Cal. I really like her bar workouts. I've been doing it for a year and it's really helped me along with my juicing and running. So that is something that is new. I am really excited and I like what I see. I love how she, you know, gets you motivated and how, um, light the classes are and when I say light I mean the feel and the vibe is really cool it's not pressured it's really relaxed and I don't think it's high intensity but you do get a really killer burn so I love that and I am hoping maybe in the future to work on workout gear I find myself wanting to do it but I also have difficulty getting good fabric so any recommendation that would be greatly appreciated um what else can i tell you about life not much man i mean work has been work <laughs> i can't wait for fridays actually i can't wait for the day to be done just as i'm drinking coffee to get my day started but the weather is finally trying to stay really hot here in texas it's kind of overcast now it's cool but we do need the rain but i love these temperatures so i've been going out a little frequently for my runs i'm just not going as long because i'm still on the men but that's what i've been doing in the morning getting my runs in taking hoot you know out for his run he is 100 percent if you have not heard or you haven't watched any of my previous videos, my dog Hoot was attacked by my neighbor's dog and he had a really bad cut under his paw and he was um, in recovery for about six or seven weeks and he's just off of that. So he's been wanting to go running and I've been like, I can't do it, boy. I gotta do it slow because I hurt my back. <laughs> but we have been enjoying the beautiful weather and just everything about living here in Texas is amazing. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's an amazing place. We've been here for two years now and I don't think we're going to go anywhere. <laughs> so we are really looking forward to doing something about our our home life mainly thinking about future plans because we're renting and i am you know thinking about what i want my future home to be like and just where i want to be 
what sort of space I want to be on, that sort of thing. So I think in the next year or two, that is going to be an exciting process for us. We're still like vetting places out and just looking at different places as well as different building companies and different home plans and seeing what works for us. Many, many months ago, I shared probably two um, home tours. I can't exactly remember what videos they are, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. And that's pretty much where my mind has been for the last few weeks, just because the weather is so positive and I th I'm thinking about my, my garden and growing my own fruits and vegetables and where we are right now because it's a rental, there's no space. So my mind is just churning in that direction. So I'm looking forward to see what sort of blossoms that I can receive in the next uh, year or two and how I can create this lovely space for myself and my family. So let's move on to sewing. And that's all I have for life updates not much <laughs> okay guys so regarding the sewing like i said because i had that issue i was a little late on my so frugal but this right here is the paddington and i really really love it i'm going to tilt my camera down guys so i don't feel like i have to tiptoe to show you all what it looks like but i shared that review on the channel so the video should pop up somewhere around here otherwise it's going to be listed down below but this is what it looks like and i'll probably show you guys um a full shot in my bedroom so you're just going to see like my bed and the mirror and all that stuff but just ignore any messes that you see just so you could get a little frontal and a a full view of this beautiful Paddington because I really do like it. I like how this fabric um, brought out the Paddington. I think if I had used, um, uh, what is it called? Um, I can't remember the name of the fabric. Hold on guys, I'm thinking. While I think basically I wanted to say if I had um, lined this with silk organza, this would have had more body and you would have seen the puff a lot. So it would have really created a nice shape, but because I did not and I was too lazy to go purchase some new silk organza because I know I have some somewhere upstairs in the attic. I just decided to make it like this, but I really love how it turned out. The um, the chevron turned out really nice too. Now the other part to this so frugal was the the Milton, and I was not a fan of that. <laughs> you can watch my video and hear me talk about it, but I love this one, and I, this is just a really cool, relaxed outfit that I have on here today. So. That turned out really good. It's nice to try patterns that you're not sure about. Now I know that I don't think, you know, pinafores work for me. <laughs> so it's not something I'll, I'll do in the future, but it was nice to try it. And I think we should all always, you know, try to experience different things so we can be 100% sure when we speak on it. Now, Currently on my sewing table is my Sew Maxi for Mother's Day project, which I am an ambassador for. This is the host of the challenge and I'm one of the ambassadors. I do have a video for that as well, but I am working on this McCall's pattern. And this always gives me um, I shake every time I buy patterns from Joann's and they're on the top of the the main counter. They always have these unique numbers on it, which does not really match what the pattern is actually. So let's try and focus that right there. For whatever reason, it's not focusing. Yeah, see that? R11021. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just the skew for 
Joann's, but this is actually McCall's M7946. And I am working on uh, a combination of version C and version D. So version C has the longer sleeve right here and version D has the wider it's not focusing and it's frustrating me um, has the wider hem here so that is what I am working on for my so maxi for Mother's Day I was just about to say so frugal <laughs> anyway so that is what I'm working on I am almost finished with that I'm just working on the the bodice top here where the elastic goes so that's where I'm at with that I'm not sure if I'm going to share that video Sunday because the weather tomorrow is kind of iffy it's supposed to be cloudy but sunny and I'm not sure also, I'm considering making View D as well because I do like the straps. A strappy detail is so cool and fun, but this was such a fun project. I love how this dress is turning out. Now I haven't tried it on yet and it's almost finished and I cannot wait to try it on. I think it looks good. The fabric that I chose is a really nice whimsical light blue, which I shared on my mini fabric haul, which was Purdue, no, which was posted earlier this week. So that is what's on my table right now that I'm working on. The next project that I will be cutting tomorrow is it's not a pattern test I was just gifted the pattern it has already gone through testing but I was gifted the pattern to share with you guys on launch day which I believe is in May I think it's the first week of May I'm not exactly sure of the date but I'm going to share with you my latest fabric haul. I say haul because this is like a super mini a hint of a fabric haul because last week I already shared what I purchased but the fabrics that I had for this project just didn't pan out so I went ahead and picked up yep you are seeing it another style maker fabric purchase and I'm going to share with you the fabric that I'm going to work on. Okay, so the pattern that was gifted is a skirt pattern and I did not really like the fabric that I had so I went over to Style Maker because they have this really beautiful chalet fabric and I thought my skirt project would look really beautiful in this ditzy print fabric. This is the first time I've purchased Chalet from Style Maker. I love their packaging. I like how they really pay attention to measurements and it, my lines are cut really straight. But I do love the flow of this fabric. So I think that skirt pattern is going to look really nice. Now... To pair this off, I thought that I would make an outfit. So I purchased this Model Knit fabric. It's in the color Orchid. It's a different shade to the Orchid color jersey that I purchased from Style Maker in my previous haul video. This is a little more on the dusty berry side or more dusty purple side whereas that other one was a little more potent in its tone so I am thinking for that skirt because I'm going with the gourd version of that pattern it's going to have a lot more flow and it's going to look really pretty and I thought that I would probably make a sleeveless top I think that would look cute and I don't have the max pattern from let me work on my memory. I want to say chalk and notch. I don't have that pattern, but I think I can totally make it from any blouse pattern that I have. And since this is a nice knit, 
fabric, I mean with a nice stretch, that I should be able to create a really nice look out of that. So this is the two fabrics and I hope to work on this on Saturday. That's my plan. Just because I want to have this video and the pictures ready for the pattern company for the live date. Also, um, while I was at a style maker, I requested that they send me also some matching threads, and I have never used. Let me don't butcher the name. It's Gutman. Is that it? Yeah. Gutman, I think. If I really totally slaughtered the name, I'm super, super sorry. But they did send me some matching fab. <laughs> sorry. They did send me some matching thread for the skirt, which I requested. And always while I'm shopping, I always buy an extra fabric just because it's a bad habit. <laughs> I picked up this knit fabric here. I don't know why I wanted this fabric. I have seen it multiple times on their website, but I have an idea of a blouse that I want to make. Um, I'm thinking something that has a um, raglan sleeve, but puffy. So it's something that I saw on the runway a long time ago, probably 2013. I'm going to try to recreate that and share it with you. It's a really pretty fabric with flowers and butterflies and just more of like a, a round bunching of flowers, kind of like a bouquet. If you guys can see that, it's just like little, like one little section of bouquets that they just do on relief along here. So I think this is such a cute fabric. And that is all my new fabric for the week because last week I bought some too. So that is my plan for next week regarding sewing and guys i i pretty much think that is it you know when i come here for my friday sews i just want to just give you guys a little update a little hit on what's going on and i feel really good i'm glad my back is feeling good i can get back into working out and i'm really happy about where my sewing projects are right now I am also considering doing um, a vlog, daily vlogs, but more on the scale of how Sarah of Nutty Gnome does hers, where she basically comes in each afternoon or day, however she does it, and share with you her outfits for that day. I'm not positive if she does it every week but I have seen a few of them and they are very inspiring so that might be in my future but for now I'm going to slash cut and share with you on my outfit that I'm wearing right now don't look at the shoes or should I say slippers but just look at the the outfit and how it turned out because the audio is so weird on my camera I have to keep this mic on here but this is the blouse let me just get this strap out of the way and this is what it looks like remember i said don't don't say a word about my slippers there it is they're really comfy but this is what my chevron top looks like guys what do you think Sorry about the light back there, but this room is really dark and I had to share some light so you guys can see it. There we go. But yeah, it turned out really good and this is the outfit that I had on for the day. The room is really dark and it's dark outside, so yeah. There we go. I hope that it wasn't too shaky. Let's just try this. Is this better? Otherwise, I can put some shoes on if you guys want me to wear shoes, but it's not really necessary, is it? Okay. So yeah, that's the outfit. And it's really nice. It's really comfortable. And it turned out really good. It's a little short, um, but it's not the end of the world. I can wear higher-waisted pants, and that would make it perfect. 
but if I needed to wear uh, shoes with this, let me go grab one and show you guys real quick. So if I had to run out the house, I would probably wear these. These are my diehard flats. I wear them all the time. They're so easy to slip on. They look really good, but their age is really, really showing. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a new one very soon. I'm not sure. These were pretty affordable, but the quality was really good. And I'm not fussy when it comes to stuff like that, especially if it works. But this is what the outfit would look like if I had to leave the house. Also, so this is truly the outfit. This is what it would look like. And I know that you can see Christmas wrapping over in the corner there, but I can't. I can't just chuck them and I don't have any space in the closet but this is what my outfit would look like anyways I'm wasting a lot of time showing you guys this thank you so much for watching this video and I'm I'm gonna slash and cut and then end the video bye so if I don't close out after that I want to thank you for watching this video I hope that you enjoy it I also hope that you have an amazing Friday and your weekend is fantastic with fun and enjoyment with your family and your friends and until we meet again please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it i would also encourage you to head over to instagram where i share a lot of what is going on on the daily with me and be sure to turn the notification bell on that way you'll know when next i upload a video so thank you once more and i will talk to you guys real soon bye bye Push you away and we're done just like that Something about you is pulling me back And I'm holding